Thanks for joining us today for another quick tech tip. Today we're discussing USB console cable, which I recommend every person that deals with networks has in their toolkit. One side looks like a standard RJ45, but it's a different pinout, and the other side a USB. Here's a device with an actual console port. Make sure that you use the console cable and connect it only to a console port because the wiring is different. The other end, of course, being a USB, fits into a standard USB type connection. Could be even USB 2, and I think 1.1 will work as well. Here we'll see side by side or one on top of another. One connection going into the console port and the other side, of course, goes into your USB port. Make sure though it is labeled console and don't plug a console cable into a standard RJ45 type ethernet port. It's only supposed to go into a console port. And there you go. Those are your connections from one side and the other. So after you've connected your USB side of the console cable to your computer and the other side plugged into the console port on the device you're trying to console to, now we have to actually install the drivers to get it working. Now if you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, chances are the drivers are already installed within the operating system. But in some cases, this isn't the case. Sometimes you'll actually have to find the drivers, download them from the internet as per the manufacturer. In most cases of recent devices out there, it is by a company called FTDI. The FTDI chip is very common in a lot of console type cables and connections. And on this website, you can go to drivers and of course find the appropriate driver. I will list some manufacturers and some possible links for some other chipsets for some console cables out there that we're aware of. I'll post them in the description down below. And also, of course, where you can get yourself your own USB console cable. So we're at this point. Some of the drivers are installed, but the serial port for some reason seems a little questionable. So we could try to update the driver and see whether or not Windows can find it, but it cannot. Now, in my years of experience, I have found that sometimes this is false, negative, false, positive, whatever you want to call it. So generally, I will just uninstall the device because I can see the main device here is already listed. So chances are the drivers are already installed. So after I remove the other device, I'm going to scan for hardware change again. Excellent. And now that I've scanned for another hardware change, we are going to see if there's anything listed and there's not. So we're going to move forward to the next step. The drivers appear to be successfully installed. Now let's open up our putty, select your serial connection, make sure to match the COM port. I have a video on how to use putty a little in greater depth in other videos, but we're just verifying whether or not the connection is established between the computer and the device we're trying to console into. We've matched the COM port. I'm going to click on open. Sometimes the devices will get stuck at this screen and not have any movement. Just hit enter and it should bring you to your login. Put in your credentials. And there you go, you're good to go. Now you are successfully consoled between your computer and your device you're trying to console in with a console port. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us, our channel out to get recognized and out there so we can help out other people. Thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Take care.